Hey, welcome. So today we're going to look at how to make the mouse work as a joystick in the Commodore Vice emulator on Windows. And this is useful for games that are programmed for the joystick only, but may actually work better with uh, more paddle and mouse-like control for games like uh, Crackout, uh, several ping pong games, different games that were programmed for mouse, but uh, but actually may work better with a, a paddle or mouse light controller. So to do this, you'll need to install the following packages. FreePy, which is the programmable input emulator. That's the application that acts as a bridge and emulates the input devices. And a virtual joystick driver for direct windows. You need that, and those two work in combination with one another, so you need both of them. And then I also have a mouse hider application that hides the arrow of the mouse so that uh, you don't see both the mouse and your your paddle controller or whatever controller on the screen moving at the same time. So that's a little application written in hotkey that can hide the mouse with a click of a mouse button and then can toggle back with the, the same scroll button mouse but push as well. And then a C64 Pi script is the script that uh, works with FreePy that uh, configures all the sensitivity and different parameters that the most needs to work properly in Vice so that it's uh, controllable. So I've used the uh, Pi 64 Pi script I've outlined below, but it's also available in the link that's shown there as well. But basically, this is the script that you run inside the FreePi application. Then you run, leave that as running in the background. And uh, vice simulator and then it connects with bjoy so i will show you how to do that in the next video okay so to make your uh, mouse work as a joystick in vice here's the steps so you'll install the freepi application and then go in Open that c64.py script. And then you have to leave this running. So basically the script is in here. You just go over to script and run the script. And then leave this program as minimized. And then also with vjoy, make sure enable vjoy is on and that all these settings are as as they are in this what should be the default settings here but make sure that's enabled otherwise uh, the driver won't be enabled in the windows driver list so if that's done then you can actually close that because it's already enabled and then start your commodore game in vice so we'll try Crack out. So you can see in settings that it's already working, but what you have to do, so it's using the VJoy device as joystick 2. So that has to be set if it's not already set by default when you fire up vice. And down here you can see on the joystick 2 icon in the bottom uh, right hand corner that I am getting, as I move the mouse, I am getting direction. And if I press the mouse button then I get the middle red button press. Bit, bit annoying until you get into the game with this particular sound effects and those kind of things. But let's roll up here where I want mouse on the right, sound effects on, and then space starts the game. The other thing you can do with the uh, I'm also running the uh, mouse hider application.
mouse hider application here. And what this does is it uh, will eliminate the mouse arrow when you're inside the game. Like this little arrow that's on the screen. So that you don't actually have to see that, but yet you can move the uh, controls. So I'm just going to set this again to right. Sound effects to on. And then spacebar to start. And you can see I'm moving the mouse up, up and down and able to move the paddle fairly smoothly, almost like it's being moved with a paddle controller instead of a joystick. Basically, shows you how it works. Going then to, uh, to do the arrow moving, so you can see my mouse arrow still on the screen. If I hit the scroll button on the mouse, then you can see I don't have any more mouse arrows. So now I can move this without actually seeing that mouse arrow on the screen. So it's the middle scroll button on your mouse. Push down the scroll button on your mouse with that application arrow to make it disappear. And then if you click it again, you can get your mouse to come back. So that's how that works. So I'll just close down and that's basically what you have to do to get your mouse working as a joystick.